know if you'll excuse me, I have to take my temperature. Are you monitoring your circadian rhythms in order to identify your periods of maximum mental acuity? I did that one summer. Oh, youth. <laughs> no, I experienced some distressing symptoms last night, so I'm checking my vital signs every hour. I'd be happy to create a chart and participate in a differential diagnosis. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, right. <clears throat> what were the symptoms? Elevated heart rate, moist palms, dry mouth, and localized vascular throbbing. Localized to what region? Ears and genitalia. Interesting. It's not body parts that usually team up. <laughs> what about environmental factors? Describe the scene for me. I was sitting in a restaurant with Penny and Bernadette drinking water, carbonated as it was a special occasion. <laughs> Penny's friend Zach stopped by and said hello, and I said, who? Who? Zach. Then why did you ask? Ask what? Who? Zach. All right, let's start over. What did you say when Zach walked in? Who? Zach. Why do you keep saying Zach? Because you keep saying who. I'm not saying who now. I said who last night. And the answer was Zach, correct? There was no question. I simply said who. All right, I think I have enough to go on. <laughs> Possible explanations for your symptoms are, in descending order of likelihood, hyperthyroidism, premature menopause, hosting an alien parasite, or, and I only include it for the sake of covering absolutely all bases, sexual arousal. Where would I have picked up an alien parasite? 